and welcome to MATLAB tutorial videos brought to you by MATLAB helper and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform error analysis in MATLAB. Error can be associated with both calculated and measured quantities and it can be characterized using accuracy and precision. Now accuracy refers to how closely the measured or the calculated values uh, agree with the true value or the true quantity whereas precision refers to how closely the individually calculated or measured value agrees with each other considering the example of a person trying to hit a bullseye uh, we can see in the figure there are four situations wherein the gunshots are fired and you can see in part a uh, the fired gunshots are not accurate neither are they precise uh, whereas moving on to b uh, the accuracy increases as all the gunshots are centered near the bullseye but they are not precise. Uh, in the figure C, these gunshots are not accurate but they are precise because they are centered somewhere uh, on the upper left corner of the target. Whereas moving on to D, these shots are both precise and accurate and now you can understand the difference between accuracy and precision. Moving on to errors, uh, I'm going to focus on five different errors in this video tutorial, focusing on the first two, uh, namely the absolute error and the relative error. Now, one can easily differentiate between absolute and relative error as absolute error is magnitude of difference between the true value and uh, the approximation, whereas relative error is the percent of error that occurs at the true value. So both of this can be calculated using the equations shown on the screen. Now let's try implementing the same in MATLAB. Let's say our true value is the value pi, whereas our approximate value is uh, 3.14. Uh -huh. So that is that. Now we can calculate error absolute as the true value minus approximate value so that is the absolute error uh, whereas if we try calculating relative error it can be calculated using uh, absolute error uh, divided by true value so that is the value of relative error now another type of error that I'm going to talk about is the round of error uh, now these type of errors usually occur in uh, the digital computers are not able to display or represent a value exactly uh, such type of errors usually occur during engineering or scientific applications trying to represent that in MATLAB we can implement a for loop let's say our s equal to zero initially and I'm going to implement a for loop that will run for from 1 to 10,000 and I'll keep on adding s with 0.0001 so in the end we should get something equal to 1 but uh, due to the factor called round of error we'll see the value of s to be something like this uh, so that is the error. Another type of error is the truncation error. Now this kind of error occurs because of using approximate values in place of exact values. Uh, for example, the Maclaurin series. Consider if we want to calculate the value of sine pi by 2 using Maclaurin series. Uh, the way you will do that is uh, let's say my s is 0 for starter and I'll implement a for loop that will run from 0 to let's say 5 uh, and my s will be updated with this so that is the value of sine pi by 2 calculated using the Clorin series uh, and if we actually try to calculate the value of sine pi by 2 it turns out to be 1 so the difference between these two values is uh, known as a truncation error 
moving on to the final type of error the total numerical error now total numerical error is actually a sum of truncation error and round off errors this total numerical error can be reduced by reducing the round off error uh, which will only happen if we try to increase the number of significant figures in a number more precise uh, whereas if we try to reduce round off errors our truncation error increases and it's vice versa so that is about errors in matlab i hope you enjoyed this video and it was a helpful video for you guys uh, if you liked it please hit the thumbs up button or subscribe if you want to keep yourself updated uh, if you have any queries or doubts or suggestions for different topics you want us to cover please leave it in the comment section down below and we will get back to you with it thank you for watching this video bye bye